wake up and you haven't drunk for like nine hours and then you just have that nice little bit of water getting down the throat oh my god it soothes it but my stomach doesn't actually like it at all for some reason when i drink water like i think it's because obviously i haven't digested anything in like nine hours when the water hits my stomach i'm like oh, i just like it's a physical it's like it's a war in there it just feels absolutely horrible so i have to give it like 20 30 seconds and then it's digested and i feel really really good but anyway Good morning boys and welcome back to another episode of Road to Show. I'm going to be straight up with you boys. I think we're probably like 30 weeks out from a show. I know you're thinking, what the hell? For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram or follow me on TikTok, I did announce that I am going to be competing again this year. I think 99% sure, unless I change my mind, but I don't think I'm going. Pretty much, I was thinking, you know what? What else am I going to do this year? What else am I going to do this year? And another thing, I'm a little bit disappointed that I got a second last time. So I feel like I want to give it another go this year. So I'm going to be bulking for another good few months and then I'm going to start prep. And then I'm going to prep for my first, well, my second ever natural bodybuilding show. Those of you that watched the first prep series, you absolutely all loved it. So I want to give you another one um, pretty much as soon as I can. So we're going to be bulking for the next couple of months just to really try and put on as much muscle, as much fullness, and just really just push strength up and just get myself in a good place to start prep. Because realistically, as a natural bodybuilder, we know that we're not gonna be able to put on like a crazy, crazy substantial amount of muscle. Yes, we're gonna be able to like maintain um, the physique that we've already got. We're gonna be able to push up like fullness, and we are gonna be able to build a little bit of muscle. Nothing too, too crazy, but we've obviously already built quite a fair bit of muscle since our last bodybuilding show because I'm sitting at like 84 kilograms in the morning at the moment but this 84 kilograms compared to 84 kilograms before my last show I'm way leaner right now like you can't really see but like I don't really look like crazy lean but you know I'm I'm leanish you know I'm leanish for 84 kilograms so yeah so um I'm pretty sure we're gonna be competing again this year let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if you're excited in the comments. And if you haven't already, go drop a like. I'm going to go get on my first walk of the morning. Well, I say my first walk of the morning, my only walk of the morning. I'm currently going on a walk and I'm listening to a audiobook called Atomic Habits. Now, I know you've probably heard of it. It's nothing like a crazy, crazy, like, um, secret book, like, underground book. Because I said it to my girlfriend. I was like, oh, you know, um, I've been listening to this book called Atomic Habits. She was like, yeah, do you know what everyone knows what that book is? And I was like... All right, yeah, so I was like saying it as a flight, yeah. You know, there's, there's this mad, like, fucking underground book. You probably haven't heard of it. Yeah, everyone's read it, mate. So I was like, oh, okay. Beep. So anyway, going to go on a little walk, get some digestion going, get a few steps in. Then I'm going to come back for my first meal of the day, which is going to be simple as hell. But there's something that I've been adding to my new meal of the day. And oh my God, it tastes absolutely spectacular. So I'm going to go on a walk, come back. And I'll show you exactly what we're having for meal one. Pizza. First meal of the day, you already know it's bacon and some eggs that are not in the pan yet and some bagels and this bad motherfucking boy. Oh my God. Literally, I know people have been on the avocados for absolutely ages. I'm just doing like a cinematic little thing with this avocado right now. But fucking hell. Mate, they were on to something. Avocados are bussing, mate. They are so good.
I'll put you up here for a time lapse, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel safe with the camera up there, so no time lapse for you. Wait till breakfast is finished. And um, there is the breakfast. We have two bagels, we have two eggs, we have some very, very burnt bacon, and some avocados. Oh. I'm telling you now, boys, genuinely, the avocado is a game changer. It's just like a nice bit of like texture switch up. Also, my hair is extremely long. I need a haircut. I know. What the? What the hell is that? All right, I'm eating this. Peace out. But if you meet me halfway, right at the borderline, it's where I'm gonna say for you. Blender. Oh yeah. All right, so super, super OGs of the channel remember that I used to hate eating pre-workout meal. I don't know what it is about it. It's really, really stupid because realistically, that gives you the energy for a good training session. But for some reason, I just never have any sort of um, appetite for training. So I'm going back to blending up my oats. I know it sounds a little bit weird, like, but I just do it, all right, honestly. I just do it. I literally just blend it up and drink it, just like an oat protein shake. Digest really easy, digest really fast. And um, I don't know, I've just been doing it because, I mean, it's better to eat than not eat, all right? That's what I say. Now guys, don't get it twisted. This tastes like literal ass. It tastes like ass, mate. I could sit here and lie and be like, oh my God, this is like a high protein, healthy Five Guys vanilla milkshake. It's nothing like that. It literally tastes wank it tastes oaty it tastes milky it, it just doesn't taste great but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do if you're a pussy like me and you're not gonna eat your meals then drink them all right because it's better than skipping the calories so let's get this uh let's get this chug jug down us shall we what a lovely meal before training very really tasty oh. You know, I sometimes think what my diet would be like if I didn't go to the gym. And if I think about it, I don't think I'd really eat at all, to be honest with you. I'm not like the kind of person who actually loves eating. Like, realistically, if I didn't go to the gym and I didn't have gains to be making, I would probably just eat once in the morning, maybe a little snack throughout the day, and then a little dinner time meal. Now, I'm not saying those meals would be healthy. They would probably be really unhealthy. I'd probably have like pancakes for breakfast and then like a pizza at dinner time. But, um,. Yeah, I just don't, I don't have a massive appetite to like eat all the time. That's just me. I don't know about you guys. Obviously, everyone's different. There's probably some of you that are saying, oh my God, if I didn't go to the gym and I wasn't like trying to limit my fat, I'd put fucking so much fat on. And there's probably some of you are like, yeah, I don't really like to eat either. So, protein shake it is. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, all right, boys. Leg day is about to go down. I'm not having any caffeine today because caffeine, me, we're kind of separating. We're kind of on a bit of a break right now. But before I show you the leg day fit real quick, we've got this weightlifting club jumper on, which I think just looks sick. And then obviously we got the straight leg joggers. If you haven't heard about me talk about the straight leg joggers, then I don't know what to say because I literally always wear the straight leg joggers and I always talk about them because I literally just think they are the best jog joggers that Gymshark have ever sold. I'm going to give you like a little better view of them right now. Just look, so pretty much a straight leg, obviously. They look a bit goofy with these shoes, I can't lie. But I just think they're like the perfect like bodybuilding pants just because there's so much like room in here to like do whatever you want. There's like no kind of like tightness, you know, I can just do whatever I want. They're just like so flexible, but they're also... The cottony kind of material. You know, like, you get the flexible ones, but they're, like, super, super tight. They're not that. They're, like, normal jogger materials, but you can actually, you know, you can break it down in them. Um, so, yeah. That is what I'm wearing to the gym. I've got legs, so I'm going to get down there, and I'm going to train. And also, I just booked a haircut for a couple of days' time, so um, I can get rid of this mop on my head. Alright boys, welcome to the workout section of the video. Now this is probably my best leg day that I have had in a very, very long time because my leg sessions have been absolutely whack since my bodybuilding prep and I'm only just now, six months later, starting to get into the rhythm, starting to get into the groove and starting to get bigger and stronger again. So anyway, let me take you through this session. So. We start off with a adduction machine, very, very simple. I like to do this before all of my movements because I feel like it gets my like groins warm, just pretty much everything warm. It's kind of like an oil loosening exercise and obviously the adductors, which are the inside part of your leg, 
make up a very big portion of your leg. So I obviously want to get these as big as possible as well to make my legs look bigger, make my waist look thinner and just the aesthetic of my physique the best it possibly can. So if you don't do adductors, make sure you're doing them. I do three sets. I do about 10 to 15 reps. I believe this set was about 13, 14. As you can see, I've got the gym pin added in there for an extra five kilograms to the weight stack because I'm a very, very strong boy. But pretty much every single movement that I do in my leg day, I try to do it with as much range of motion as physically possible. Like genuinely, I don't really care about lifting too extremely heavy. I just go completely on the mind-muscle connection because I feel like if I go too heavy, I really lose my muscle connection and I just, I, I'm just ego lifting like a prick. So like, as you can see here, I've only got like, I've got a 50 kilo plate and then I got, I believe I've got three 20 kilo plates. So it's not like a crazy amount of weight, but it's enough to get the stimulus on my quads that I want. And I'm really trying to control it. I am messing up a little bit in between sets because in an ideal world, I want to bring it down as slow as possible and then push back up and then not fully lock out and then come back down so I'm leaving all the attention on the quad. Like this would be an ideal rep. So I go down, I press back up and then I come back down immediately. So power up, slow down and then no like pause at the top. That would, what would I would want to be an ideal rep. Sorry, I started mumbling, jumbling my words there a second. But pretty much this set was, I believe this was my second set. I didn't actually film my very, very first set. So this was actually a bit of a set of me being a little bit weaker, but overall, it was a pretty decent set. I probably could have got another rep or two in, but like I said, just trying to ease into these leg days, not go too crazy. Anyway, next we move on to leg extensions where I did some heavy sets of six to 10. I believe I actually extended this a bit. I'm doing pretty much, I believe the full stack. I think I'm like one off the full stack. But these leg extensions, I really try and think about like booting someone away from me. Like I literally think I'm trying to kick someone away from me and control it down and then literally bang. Like I'm trying to kick someone away from me. That's just the way I like to think about it. I feel like it gets my legs pushed to complete failure that way. And that's just the way I do it best. So easy set on there. Next up, we moved on to hamstring curls. Now this was a really, really weird set because basically I put a weight on that I normally do for like this amount of reps, but it just felt so light. So I was practically stuck here forever doing the same weight over and over again. And I just kind of didn't even manage to take it to failure because I was like 25 reps in and I was like, fucking hell, is this going to end anytime soon? So yeah, I literally just um, kind of messed this up a little bit. I did another set after, obviously I did another two sets. If you're wondering about the sets and reps I do for each exercise, it's normally anywhere between two to three. It's never really more than three sets unless it's arm. Sometimes I might go three sets or more, but it's normally about two to three sets I normally work anywhere between the ranges of 6 and 15. Occasionally with leg press and leg extensions, I might extend that into maybe the 20 to 25 rep scheme, but it's pretty much anywhere between 6 and 15 usually. And um, I feel like different muscle groups respond best to different rep ranges. So for legs, I feel like high rep ranges really controlled are the best for me. And then like, for example, arms, I feel like low rep ranges work for me. Anyway, enough number learned about that. I am doing hanging leg raises, three sets of 15 pretty much every single leg day at the moment because they are just the best exercise for your core. Genuinely, this is an absolutely phenomenal exercise. And I'm really happy with my progression because these are actually pretty controlled. And if you could see the ones I was doing when I first started doing these a few weeks ago, they were absolutely atrocious. So this is really good progression here. I don't know why I stopped in this rep. I just kind of like swung out of it. You're going to see in a second. I don't know why I did that. I was just being a bit of an idiot, I guess. Anyway, leg reveal. Let's get them trousers down. Look at that, mate. The legs are coming through. For real, the legs are actually coming through. I'm actually genuinely really, really happy with this. They're actually looking leaner. I spoke about this. Uh, I don't know where I spoke about this. Did I speak about this at the end of this YouTube video? I'm not sure. I think I did. So pretty much my legs, they just get bigger. When they, my legs, when they get bigger, they get leaner, which is a really nice thing. Like they just get more veins on them, they get more vascular, they look more full. And I feel like my legs are actually starting to get into a bit of progression, a little bit of momentum. And I'm really, really happy with how things are doing. All right, boys, finished up at the gym, just went to Sainsbury's and bought a few things, as you can see right there. Uh, the session was absolutely spectacular. 10-10, a really, really good session. 
because um, I'm not sure if you guys can remember, but my electricians were really, really bad recently, like ever since prep kind of thing. But recently they've really started getting into the rhythm. I'm starting to add weight back up, starting to get bigger, starting to get stronger. And if you could see that little leg update that I gave you about, I don't know, towards the end of the leg session, I thought my legs were looking really, really good. So I'm starting to get really happy with my leg improvements. Just gotta keep pushing up, because I'm filling them up. And something that I've noticed in my legs, right? The bigger my legs get, the leaner they get. And I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but it just is something that happens to me. Just when my legs grow, they just start to get really, really lean. And I can see like veins coming through, they get vascular and they just, they look good. So the more I train legs, the bigger they get, just the better they look. That's just the thing with me. They never really, I never really put any fat on my legs, to be honest, they always look lean. But when I do get lean, lean, my legs look absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, that's enough talking about that. Something I want to talk about, which is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a J Dave wisdom section of the video because I did this one time after I trained and you guys really seemed to like it. it is something that I want to talk about is like happiness. Um, how to be happy. I know it sounds a bit of a weird one, but with the gym scene being always talking about how you've got to fight your demons and you've got to be depressed and you've got to go to the gym and you've got to battle through the pain and you've got to be sad and the gym's the only two happy hours of the day. It doesn't have to be like that, right? So I'm gonna tell you guys how to be happy. What I want you to do is, I want you to sit down, I want you to pause this video or go do this after the video. And I want you to think about the three things that make you happy. Three things that make you happy. And then I want you to think about, and then I want you to go through your day and write down all the things you do, and then go next to them, whether they make you happy or sad. Now the reason I say this is because you probably know what the things are that make you happy, but you're not actually doing them. And I know it sounds really, really common, but this is something that I've always struggled with. I know what makes me happy. Something that makes me happy is progressing in life, progressing in the gym, progressing with, I don't know, putting on weight, progressing in social media, making videos, just progression like that, or something like spending time with my mum and dad, watching a movie with them, playing some games with my friends, etc., etc. you know what I'm saying. And then I won't actually do them, and then I'll complain about being sad. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So what I'm trying to say is, right, write down the things that make you happy, then see if you're actually doing them in your day, and then be like, oh wait, this could be one of the reasons why I'm not happy. You know what I'm trying to say? So basically, just make sure you're doing the things in your day that makes you happy. Pretty simple, but I feel like it might help you guys out because it was something that I was struggling with for a long time. I just didn't feel happy and I was thinking, hang on, I'm literally not doing anything to make me happy. Like, I'm in control of my happiness. I need to make sure the things I'm doing in my day, the things that make me happy and the things that are gonna fill my life up with joy. So yeah, that's a little little thing for you boys. Anyway, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna eat up some scran because I am absolutely hungry as hell. I'm gonna have some chicken and rice and some pineapple and my God, it's gonna be so nice. So let's go home, let's eat it up. Let's, I'm super, super hungry. Hi right, boys, we're back now, and for some reason I'm having salmon, eggs, and avocado. I'm not sure why, I think the avocado has actually got like a hold on me. I don't know why I'm having it again. I'm actually meant to have cereal and a protein shake, but I don't know. I just fancy this, so just want to eat them. Bit random boys, but recently I bought a new bed. Now I've pretty much slept on the same mattress for my entire life. And it was getting battered, I'll be honest with you. The springs were all over the place. Like there was one spring near my head and it was literally digging into my neck every single night. So I ordered myself a new mattress. I spent like a decent amount of money on it. You can see it's relatively thick. Like, what's that? I'm not even gonna guess because I don't know anything about measurements or anything. But, wow, it is so damn comfortable. Like it feels so good. Like the night sleeps I've been having recently have been absolutely amazing now. I know like, not everyone's in the position to buy themselves a new mattress, but if you are in the position to buy yourself a new mattress and like you feel like your mattress is not giving you good night's sleeps, then um, yeah, I'd recommend going to a mattress store and try and like loads out because this has genuinely made such a big difference on my sleeps. Like, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but ever since I started sleeping in this mattress, I've been having crazy dreams, loads and loads of dreams, and I've been recovering well when I've been getting big, so remember that, boys. Sort your mattress out if you can. If you can't, then just... Maybe get a mattress topper. They're quite cheap and they do they do the trick like really well. Anyway, I'm gonna edit the YouTube video over there that you're watching right now, and um, 
I'm going to peace out. So um, thank you so much for watching, boys. Uh, leave a comment on what you think about me potentially competing again this year. Potentially 99%, 0.9%. I'm uh, still not really entirely sure, but I think I am going to go ahead with it. But there's always time to change my mind. Well, not time to change my mind, but time to change my mind when I'm going to compete. It's not about, about if I am going to compete again, because obviously I am going to compete again. It's a matter of when I'm going to compete again, but I think I am going to compete again. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you got this far into the video, comment balls, and I'll see you later, guys. Love you all. Peace.